Good day and welcome to the first video of the 2023 NCA Level 3 statistics paper titled Apply Probability Concepts in Solving Problem. Don't get mixed up with probability distribution. This is a probability concept paper. And without further ado, let's do question 1A, part 1. Okay, this is a straightforward question and most people who have done level 2 statistics should have no problem in answering this question. Okay, the question is, two schools, one in the North Island and one in the South Island, surveyed and combined the data from a group of 157 year 9, year 11 and year 13 students about whether they like coffee or not. The table below shows the result of the combined survey. So we have like coffee and do not like coffee in one in the row column and year 9, year 11, year 13 in the column section. So before we even start this question, before we answer the question, whenever you have a table question, it's always good to find the row total and the column total. Okay, so what we're going to do, we are going to calculate the row total. So we are going to add 13 plus 11 plus 22 and the answer I've done before is going to be 46. So 46 students like coffee. On the other hand, do not like coffee, you're going to add 43 by 38 by 30 and the answer is 111. Now we have done that total, we're going to calculate the column total, year 9, year 11 and year 13. So for year 9, 13 plus 43 and the answer is going to be 56. Year 11, 11 plus 38 is going to be 49. And then for year 13, 22 plus 30 and the answer is going to be 52. And of course, the total of the number of students is 157. We can check by adding 46 plus 101 is 157. At the same time, 56 plus 49 plus 52 will also be 157. Most people will get it wrong because they're going to add this total plus that total and the number for 157 is going to be double and it's going to be 314. So remember, you either add the column total or the row total. So the total number of people is 157. One, we have done that total it's very simple. Now we're going to answer the question. Using the results of the survey, calculate the probability of a randomly selected student being year 9 or year 11 if they stated that they do not like coffee. So this is a conditional probability. If they state that they do not like coffee, so the statement is they do not like coffee. Okay. So we are only interested in do not like coffee. So we are looking at this number here. Okay. 43, 38, 30, and 111, okay? We are not interested in the person who likes coffee. So what is the number, probability of student in year 9, year 11? So year 9, 11, 43, and 38, you're going to add them up. 43 plus 38 is going to be 81. And because if we are not interested and do not like coffee, it's going to be over 111. And that is an achieve in this question. So watch the next video, video 2 for the merit question of question 1A part 2. Cheers everyone and have a great day.